Hello and welcome to Across Louisiana. My name is Steve Sawyer, your host for the program. We really have a great show lined up today, and we're going to start it off with just a wonderful guest, Leslie Hoffman. You know Leslie from Get Fit with Leslie, and she's going to be talking about probiotics and gut health, and she is just a wealth of information for health, and we always love having her on the show. Bethany Paulson is with us. She is Executive Director for the Tipitina Foundation. Sky Hyacinth is a new organization in Elevate New Orleans that he's the founder of. Jacques Rodrigue, we're very happy to have Jacques. Uh, he's here for representing the George Rodriguez Foundation. They've got an art program coming up that Koch is proud to be a, a part of. Finally, David Simon is here, and David is with the new Brazilian restaurant in New Orleans, Fogo de Chão, and he's going to be talking about uh, their inlay in New Orleans and all the exciting things they have coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Across Louisiana. It's always a pleasure to have Leslie Hoffman on the show. You know Leslie from Get Fit with Leslie, which uh, I believe you're on every day at 7.30. Every day, 7.30 a.m. on Cox 4. My wife follows you on okay. Facebook. Uh, I know a lot of people follow you on Facebook. And I mean, you just bring such a wealth of knowledge uh, with, with what you talk about with health-related subjects because you're into it yourself. I right, mean, you don't only right. talk about it, but you do right. it. And I know we, we're short on time, and you've got yeah. a subject today that I really, I've kind of gotten into probiotics. So right, I'm right. just going to let you take it away. Okay, well, um, it's something that I'm going to just let you know what I do and let the viewers know that I do and how important it is to really take care of your gut. Uh, your gut is your second brain. They call it your second mm -hmm. brain. And about 70% of your immune system is housed in your gut. So right there, that tells you how important your gut is. And it's in really, really important to know that you really kind of got to keep a ratio of the bad bacteria and the good bacteria mm -hmm. in your gut. And the ratio of bad bacteria should be somewhere in the area of 15%. And the good bacteria should be somewhere in the area of 85%. So you keep that that ratio will help you maintain optimal health as okay. far as your digestive system is concerned. Okay. And I was going to ask, how do we do that? I see you've got some things here oh, on the table. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, well, you know, if you have uh, an overabundance of bad bacteria in your gut, you're going to have problems like fatigue. You're going to have digestive disorders, you know, birching, bel mm -hmm. belching flatulence, um, other things associated with digestive health, and just feeling just run down, not feeling good. Mm -hmm. uh, you could have skin problems. I mean, there's a host, an array of different problems that you can have if your gut is out of whack, various diseases. So it's ultra important to keep your gut healthy. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about various things that you can do to keep your gut healthy. Okay, okay number one, <clears throat> is, is which is bad for your gut, that actually promotes the growth of bad bacteria, is refined sugars. Mm -hmm. You know, waking up in the morning and having that sugar-laden cereal, that's not good. The donuts, not good. You know, so you wake up in the morning, you really want to start your day off on a good start. And what I do personally, I like to eat Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt, make sure it has uh, live and active cultures. Mm -hmm. This is live and active cultures. Greek yogurt is excellent. Um, top it off with some organic strawberries, berries, mm -hmm. and you know, maybe bananas, and maybe some nuts, which is really, really great. I know we have to move on. Um, also, stay away from, the, like I said, the refined sugar. Stay away from processed foods, fast foods, things of that nature, mm -hmm. not good for gut health. Artific art artificial sweeteners, not good for gut health. Alcohol is another one that's not good. Highly acidic foods, not good. Okay, let's talk about how you can enhance and, and, and increase. And they're telling me we got to wrap it up. Oh, good, good bacteria. Okay, let's talk about that. Greek yogurt, for one. Make sure it says live and active cultures. Kefir is another great one. Uh, kombucha. We've got fermented vegetables like sauerkraut, but make sure it says live and active cultures. Well, let me ask. Uh, they're, they're telling me to wrap it up, and, okay. and I need to do that. Uh, your Facebook page, uh, okay. a lot of information can be found yeah, on your Facebook yeah, page. Yeah, I do post. Website, getfitwithleslie.com. Get fit with has they a lot can of that contact information on me there. And Leslie, please, 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 please come back be on the show a lot this year. Oh, because, I will. Uh, you I know, will. I, mean, I love what you talk about, and there's nothing more important than health, and you bring a lot of good information to us, and they're getting ready to shoot me. Stay with us. Oh, we'll be I know, right back. I know. <laughs> Yeah. 
And welcome back to Across Louisiana. Thank you so much for being a part of the show today. We're happy to have Bethany Paulson in the studio. Bethany is with Tipitina's Foundation. Good to see you as always. Thank you so much for taking time to be here. Of course, thank you for having me. Bethany, real quick, uh, Everybody knows Tipitinas. Uh, just real quick, talk about the mission of the foundation. The mission of Tipitinas Foundation is protecting and preserving Louisiana music. So that gives us a, a wide <laughs> area to work with, but we do most of that through educational mm -hmm. programming and making sure that students across the state now, not just in New Orleans, uh, but have access to music education. And so you, when we also do some work with adult music. And you've got your fifth annual uh, big event coming up, so I'll let you talk about we that. We do. Too. So we have our fifth annual Mardi Gras Grandstand event. Um, it's a big fundraiser for the organization, but it's also a great way to see a lot of the work that we've done. Mm -hmm. We all know with Mardi Gras parades, having marching bands is a very important part of it. I think we'd all, I mean, what would a Mardi Gras Absolutely. parade be without the marching Absolutely. bands? And so many of those marching bands that you see are carrying instruments that we've provided through our Instruments of Common program. Awesome, so that is awesome. It's, uh, it's, it's a nice way for donors to see exactly where their money is going. Well, let me ask you this. If, if, uh, is it a situation where if, if I've got some instruments that I want to donate, is there parameters around donating instruments? or? Well, we do. Um, instruments that come in, we buy new instruments, but we also have an instrument donation program. Mm -hmm. So we have a repair facility, and we have some great people who work with us to repair instruments. And you can donate almost any instrument. We do have some limitations on pianos and mm -hmm. some of the bigger mm -hmm. instruments, uh, but you can either call our office and we'll make arrangements to get them from you or if you go to our website you can even fill out a form that'll print out a shipping label for you and oh, it'll wow. ship right to our office and that'll make sure that another student has an instrument to play. That's um, awesome. We just just this year we placed 75 uh, refurbished instruments I'm in schools. To ask how many instruments you've placed this year yeah. already. And those were just the used ones. Um, we are in now in 101 schools across Louisiana and it's more than 3.1 million worth of instruments and across you, the state. You work with all all schools throughout the state? We do. We do. The majority of them are in New Orleans, New Orleans. Um, and most Many high schools, we're now working in a lot of middle schools and grade schools mm -hmm. too, as younger students are interested in music and giving them the opportunity to play early helps them become better musicians mm -hmm. by the time they get to high school. So uh, do high schools reach out to the foundation if they need instruments? I know your they website do. is tipitinasfoundation.org. So I mean, if I was a high school and I wanted to get involved, could I go to the website? Absolutely, you can go to the website at any point and the information is there. We will open up an application period um, by the end of February mm -hmm. that will allow allow schools to fill out an application uh, that tells a little bit about their music program, the type of instruments they need, and then we make selections uh, based on the amount of money that we raise at our Instruments of Common fundraiser incredible. in April, and uh, then help as many schools as we can that way. Bethany, congratulations on, on what you're doing. I always love hearing when, when organizations give back, and I mean, New Orleans is music, and music is New Orleans, and for what you guys are doing, that's outstanding. So congratulations on the success you're having. We've got a few more guests. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana. Thank you again so much for being a part of the show today. New guest, Sky Hyacin is with us today. Sky is the founder of Elevate New Orleans. And Sky, we were, welcome to the show. Welcome to New Orleans. You mentioned you've been here six years, and, and we were talking uh, before we went on the air. Uh, I mean, you literally came down to New Orleans, uh, invited guests, mm -hmm. uh, basketball game, and yeah. you fell in love with the city, and exactly. you moved down. You've been here six years, and you Correct. found an organization and your whole mission is giving back to New Orleans. I wish exactly. we had more people like you. Thank you, Appreciate I think it's you. awesome, I think it's awesome that you do this. So, Sky, let's talk about Elevate New Orleans real quick. Uh, just the mission of your organization and, and what you're focused on. It's to enhance the abilities of inner city student athletes uh, in order with academics, athletics, and social development. We want to enhance these young people, not only on the, on the court, but off the court as well. We want to make sure that they not only have the prerequisite skills to not only get the job done in the classroom, but with the support that they need. So we've partnered with Tulane and Loyola University mm -hmm. to ensure that they have tutors on a daily basis to make sure that they're able to uh, maintain a 3.0 GPA. That's the threshold that we've set for them. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that every student in our program is able to maintain a 3.0 GPA. When they do that, they're able to uh, receive basketball skill development from my coaches mm -hmm. to make sure that they develop their skills, that they love the basketball game. And as they're doing that, we also have social 
social etiquette classes that we teach them, a summer enrichment program that focuses on financial literacy, resume writing, as well as uh, understanding the importance of giving back. Mm -hmm. Scott, your, your website is elevateusa.org. We'll yes. put that on the screen. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things about organizations like yourself is, is you need money. You need always. funds. Uh, you're always raising money and things yes. like that. Uh, and I know we want to talk about this too, but there's a, a beautiful program here called Give NOLA Day. Yeah. And uh, a lot of what you want to do is ask people through Give NOLA Day yes. is if they could find the time because you're trying to raise $2,500. $2,500, correct. To um, to support our uh, computer lab. We have a brand new computer lab, but with computers, you always need updated software. You need um, entities for um, ACT, SAT prep, and devices to um, calculators and things of that nature to make sure that these kids have the resources yeah. that they need to be successful. And, and all right, so real quick, give NOLA Day. Uh, talk about how people can give to Elevate New Orleans. So all they can do is go online on Give NOLA Day, which will be on May 3rd. Uh, go to the Give NOLA website. You'll find our name, Elevate New Orleans, uh, Elevate New Orleans, mm -hmm. and they'll make sure that they can click on our name and be able to give directly to the website. And, and with Give NOLA Day, correct me, correct me on this, is for every dollar raised do you get another dollar from, yes. is that, that's the way it works? Yes, so, I correct. mean, what a great way yes. to raise money. And I think last year the program raised all, over $4 million. $4 million. Yeah, dollars. correct, yeah. So you're saying just send some of that, yeah, send yeah. some of that our way. <laughs> exactly. We, we can help a lot of kids. Again, Sky, congratulations. I mean, just to, to do what you did to, to move down here from Connecticut and, uh, and fall in love with the city and, and start your own foundation. I, I just, again, we need more people like that. So God bless you for doing that. Uh, best of success to you. Please continue to come on the show from time to time. Tell us how you're doing, if there's anything we can do to help you. We've got a couple more guests, so stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Across Louisiana. It's just a great show we've got today, and we just couldn't ask for a better guest than Jacques Rodrigue. Jacques, of course, is the executive director of the George Rodrigue Foundation. Jacques, congratulations on just all the success you guys are. I, I know your dad is, is probably so proud uh, yeah, you of know, what you've accomplished. We're so lucky that dad left such a legacy for us to continue, and, and arts and education was at the forefront of what yeah. he wanted to give back to Louisiana. But you know, you guys you guys are the ones that picked up and, and, and ran with it, and, and Cox has the pleasure of being a part of this, and I, I gotta be honest with you, the, the awards program last year, uh, it's just these kids, it's just incredible. But the, what they're doing, it's, it's, yeah, you it's know, unbelievable. So many people think the arts are just a fluff yeah, kind of topic. Yeah. And the research actually shows the complete opposite. These students that engage with the arts uh, have that creativity yeah. that prepares them for the rest of their lives. Plus they, they score higher on tests, they have fewer discipline problems, yeah. and they actually want to come to school. They're, they're engaged by the material when they can focus and, on and, the arts. And I mean, you really are giving back. And uh, I, I, just, I just love it when organizations, I'm gonna take up all the time praising you here. Let's, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about uh, just the mission of the foundation and, and then get into the, the, the program that's gonna be taking place place this year? So we um, you know, want to make sure that the arts are kept in schools in a meaningful way mm -hmm. uh, because it does you know, engage that right brain, that creativity that these students need. And one of the ways that we do that is through our annual scholarship art contest open to uh, Louisiana high school juniors and seniors. Mm -hmm. We award uh, $45,000 in college scholarships every year. Uh, to date, it's been about uh, $300,000 that we've awarded to 150 students. Well, how many years? This is our sixth year. Sixth year, okay. Mm -hmm. And the theme this year is Louisiana's Carnival. Oh, so wow. we're asking awesome. students to show us what they love about Mardi Gras, whether it's Cajun Mardi Gras, New Orleans Mardi Gras. Uh, I think everyone in Louisiana understands how unique and special Mardi Gras Jacques, is. I, I know the deadline is uh, February the 12th, so mm -hmm. real quick, talk about uh, how do you enter? How, how, how do I get involved so in this? All anyone has to do is go to our website, rodriguefoundation.org. Uh, they take a picture of their work and submit it and it's open to any junior and senior in Louisiana. Across the state, no matter, and is it high school only? I mean, or is that parochial or? Any, any student okay. um, in, 
public private and charter. then you there's a judging process of course involved right. and, and the students get notified as to uh, come to the banquet and, and you know yeah like. we, we uh, narrow it down to the top 15 yeah. uh, and yet unfortunately you have to do that <laughs> yeah uh, we get about 650 entries every year Man, it's and incredible. so the top 15 are just so phenomenal these students are so fantastic and we keep up with them for over the years and so many of them are not artists at all they're engineers they're doctors they they go into every field imaginable wow. so it's it's not just for the art students this is for any any student in the state yeah Jacques they're giving me the the cue to wrap it up but I really I really would like for uh, after the program this year is, is if you can come back you know talk about the success you had who the winners were because you you, you said the key thing and, and again I remember from being there last year these kids are phenomenal. They're just absolutely incredible. They're getting ready to yank me off, off the seat. Jacques, thank you so much for taking time to be here. Thank you so much for being uh, a part of this program, too. We love being a part of it, and I look forward to being a part of it. Thank you to Cox for being a part of it. We have one more guest, so stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> And welcome back to Across Louisiana. Our final guest, and th this is going to be interesting because we were talking off camera about this. David Simon is the general manager for Fogo de Chon Restaurant. Uh, you've just opened in New Orleans, mm -hmm. and now, correct me if I'm wrong, you are the only Brazilian restaurant in the New Orleans metro area. Yes, yes. Uh, well, yeah, no trouble saying that either. <laughs> no, 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 absolutely. Uh, just opened. Friday was our first day uh, to the public. Uh, we're in the JW Marriott downtown, so we have an amazing location on Canal Street, 614 Canal Street. Uh, and it's been an amazing success so far, so we're excited to be here. And I talk about, uh, and you, were, you and I were talking off camera a little bit, uh, the, the chef is actually, when we say it's a Brazilian restaurant, mm -hmm. the chef is from Brazil, right? He is, uh, Carlos Giroto. Uh, he is a gaucho, uh, which is... Uh, Brazilian for rancher or cowboy, but it's also the gentlemen who are going to be butchering the meat, skewering the meat, uh, cooking the meat, serving it to your table side. They're, they're, they're a part of the process from beginning to end. Uh, and he's taught that style to some locals. Uh, and we've also brought some Brazilians from our Brazilian locations and from of our other locations as well. Uh, we are a Brazilian company, so authenticity is important. Uh, started in Brazil in 1979. How many restaurants do you have in Brazil? In Brazil, we have 10. Wow. Uh, and New Orleans is number 30 in the U.S. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, we came to the U.S. in 97 in Dallas was our first location. So you're obviously successful. Uh, and it's been a, a great success throughout the country. I think um, the variety that we offer to guests, the, the style of service is so unique to the concept. Uh, that it really took off everywhere it's yeah. been. I, I think it's been a success. And, and, and we've only got a couple of minutes left. So let me ask, let me ask, the thing that entices me uh, when you say a Brazilian restaurant, what, 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 what sets you apart? You know, the style of service is uh, traditional Brazilian rodizio or churrasco. Uh, it is a two-part dining service uh, for the most part. It is a, a huge market table. Uh, it looks as if you walked into uh, a farmer's uh, amazing bounty for Thanksgiving, perhaps. Uh, all kinds of wonderful seasonal local fruits, fresh vegetables, seasonal salads, meats and cheeses. Uh, that's the first part of the meal. There's wow. also a wonderful Brazilian farofa bar, which is a Brazilian uh, bean rice and bean dish. Uh, and then the second part of the service, which is really what I think we're known for, is that uh, rodizio or constant experience of, of meats coming table side. So it's 16 different cuts altogether, beef, pork, chicken, and lamb. Uh, all cooked over the grills uh, by our gaucho chefs, served tableside to you, unlimited servings for as long as you like. Wow. Uh, lunch, dinner, both? Lunch and dinner. Um, we ha will be eventually open for breakfast as okay. we kind of stage into that, but okay. right now we're open for lunch and dinner uh, seven days a week. And reservations it's a, required or right now I think uh, the the response has been pretty great I would say reservations during the week time uh, weekends and peak times is probably in your best interest okay. uh, David they're wrapping to get everyone so I, I just want to mention a uh, website is uh, www.fogo.com yes so all information about the restaurant can be found on the website can you make reservations on the website yes you can okay all right David Congratulations on the success. I'm, I'm looking forward to coming down there myself. Uh, I may have to go right now because they're telling me I got to go. Steve Sawyer across Louisiana, thank you so much for being a part of the show. And as always, we'll see you next time.